Hey everybody, I'm Chris, a developer advocate at DigitalOcean, and we have a lot of questions and comments on our Laravel DigitalOcean YouTube videos, so I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at all of those and answer them real time on this video. Oh my gosh, nothing's working. Um, good start. It's, I haven't used this computer in forever. This question is, how did I visit the, um, in my browser, once I had a Laravel app on my computer, how did I go to, like, if you created a Laravel app called um, My Laravel App, and you call that, like, that's the folder that you're in, you can go to your browser and say, my-laravel-app.test. And that's how I use things in, um, in Laravel. That's how I develop locally. And to do that, it's a built-in Laravel tool which is called Valet. So if you go to the Laravel docs, and let me show you real quick, Valet, and you click Valet, it's a, sorry, it's not built-in, it's a package we can install. But basically, when you install it, you pick out the folder where all of your Laravel projects are, and then it automatically builds out a local host for your packages, for your apps. So let's say you had like 10 folders in there. Each folder, you just, append dot test to it in your browser and you can see it live in your browser. So I'm a really big fan of Valet. There's a couple other options for loading and starting your Laravel apps, but Valet I think is the easiest. So the fillable property on a Laravel model, let's go back to, let me close this out. Let me go back to this. So the fillable property, you're gonna say uh, protected Fillable is equal to an array. And let me add the PHP right here just so we get some syntax highlighting. So protected fillable, um, let's say you have a tutorial or a post resource. You would want the title for sure to be fillable. You would want the slug to be fillable. You would want um, like content to be fillable. So the reason that you have the fillable array and you have to be explicit about what can be changed um, is because of mass assignment. So let's say somebody got into um, like a new developer or something, didn't really know the code base and they wanted to update, let's say all of your users and give them like a Boolean flag or something like that. You would definitely want to um, fill in this fillable array with only the things that you want to be um, filled in by mass assignment. So let, let's say I didn't want us to be able to manually update all the users' passwords just don't add it to this fillable array and uh, it would stop you from making that mistake or give you a little bit more security if you wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. Um, yeah, I absolutely love that uh, sort of shorthand, right? Because Artisan lets us build out uh, different things with one command. And if we needed to, usually when you want to build out a new resource, let's say we have um, tutorials or posts or something like that, you would have a controller, you would have a migration, and um, you would have a model. And those three things put together would build out a resource in Laravel. So yeah, you can shorten that by going PHP artisan um, make model. And it's interesting because you, you might think you want to start with the controller or the migration. Uh, the way that Laravel does it is you start with the model and then you can shorthand the, uh, so I'm going to call that post, you can shorthand the controller, the migration, and you can say it's an API resource controller. So that kind of changes out how the controller is made, but you can do that with dash CMA. So this command is a really awesome one to get you up and running with everything you need. How do you like it? Better. I just got to stop rambling and, and we're good. That is completely right. Um, an API, which is uh, application programming interface, is a way for, uh, I like to think of the A as your database and your data, right? And you're creating the interface from like the middle of it so that your front end users can hit your API and that API can go to the database. So you're the middleman between the front and the back end.
So I don't, I don't really know, and that's because I haven't really installed them myself and dug into them with full-size apps. But the question here is Laravel has a couple, and credit to Laravel for having so many ways to do authentication in our apps, right? They already have a built-in one, um, but as far as going further and giving your users a little bit more access control, a little bit more token control, you have packages here in the docs. And if I scroll down here, there is Passport right here. And let me open that up in a new tab. And here is Sanctum. So these two, oh, and Socialite is the social one. Um, and I believe Fortify is also one. So there's four packages. Well, let me double check on Fortify real quick. Uh, yes, so Fortify is also an authentication package. So Laravel Passport, their docs have a Passport or Sanctum. Uh, let's see, before getting started, let's see. So Laravel Passport gives you OAuth 2 implementation, like if you wanted to be able to log into your application using OAuth 2 um, and give yourself that sort of strength in authentication, Passport's the way to go. Otherwise, Sanctum is very good at giving out tokens, issuing tokens, um, revoking tokens, pretty much all things needed with tokens. And Socialite is the social um, login for like Twitter, Facebook, GitHub, all that kind of stuff. And Fortify is the newest one, which I'm not too sure on yet because I haven't really dug into it, but registered routes and controllers need to implement all authentication features. I think it's just like a, a secondary to what's kind of built into Laravel, but doesn't really deal with tokens or OAuth too. So um, just be aware that there's all sorts of ways to authenticate in Laravel and definitely look through the docs for which one's best for your application. I believe that's true that you can do that. So if I search for custom guard, so here's security, authentication, adding custom guards. You can click this here and you can build out a custom guard and let's see here, auth extend, create user provider. So here in the, um, in the auth.php file, you can set what um, model using this providers, provider uh, property and the driver JWT and then you can create a custom guard, which is API, which they built right here. So definitely take a look at those docs to do a custom authentication guard. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about Laravel. Keep the questions and comments coming on the DigitalOcean YouTube channel, and we'll keep answering them. Thanks.